inside you of a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Gonna be interesting to see how long he can keep it up with us. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Nice diversity in the attack. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him chopping the woods. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. And just misses with that big right hand. What a punch. It's such a fast leg kick. Right hand punch for the clinches. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? And both guys really thrown with authority. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that nose. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Big off the first man. Now we get back to range. You got to check these low leg kicks. Just out of the range with that right hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Nice punch by Shaw. Right hand on point. Oh, collar tie. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were easily matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Nice head kick. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Leading with that right punch. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Straight punch lands. Nice kick. Yeah, nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC. And you're seeing why. Oh, reverse 
reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, eats a knee. And they separate. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Just misses there with the left. And he switches his stance yet again. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. Punch is blocked. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Straight right is there. Oh, he just heard him, he just heard him. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by the Korean Superboy. All right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really led to him really taking control of the fight. He did a great job finding his shot over and over again. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you gotta really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Nice. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes, and a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Head kick. Oh, huge block! with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, that right hand is on point. Wow, actually got the takedown. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Back to the feet now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Leg kick. Missed with that attempt. Single collar tie there. Oh, goes to the ankle pick now to get him down, DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. Never looked this good. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Beautiful entry as he gets the takedown late in the round two, which could have an impact on the judges, potentially. Absolutely. You want to leave an impression in the judges' minds. And when you walk back to your corner, when you get up from a dominant position, 
you almost want to wave at the judges and say, I got it done. <laughs> right. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship wrestling. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. This man has taken it to the octagon, looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though, DC. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. That's a big strike right there. Oh, man, head kick land. Some nice back and forth action here. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. He's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single switch to a high crotch. Left hand is true. That will absolutely work. He throws it like a piston back and forth. He's landing that beautiful left hand. Two minutes now to go in the round. Good spin. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Joy gets hit by that leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Take it down, cut him. Take it down, cut him. Over and over, he's securing these takedowns. Under one minute remains in round four of a possible five. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Lands the ground and pound strike. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Great punch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Right now, we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, next round is underway. He did a great job in the previous round, largely untouched. Reminds me a little bit of Dominic Cruz, the former UFC Bantamweight champion. Defense is the primary focus, and that was certainly evident in the previous round. Yes, Dominic Cruz was one of the more brilliant defensive fighters we have ever seen. He did it with footwork. This man tonight has done it with his blocking skills, with his vision and his ability to just not be where his opponent thinks he's going to be. Nice punch lands. All right, let's go. Single collar tie. Slicing elbow coming around the corner. That only happens if you gain posture control. Now well, he lands another strike to the body here. Really nicely done as he gets the double leg takedown. All 
right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Chor. All right, so good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. He passes the half. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. And they both stand up. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. Under two minutes remain in the fight. Oh, that's a nice strike. Quick level change now. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking a beautiful right. Oh. He left him over the top. What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. Well, he's got his back now. One minute to go in the fight. Pretty significant welt to the left side. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, head kick blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Oh, huge right hand! Let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. decision is now in it resides with Bruce Buff ladies and gentlemen after five rounds we go to the judges scorecards for a decision all three judges score the contest 50 45 for the winner by unanimous decision the Korean Super Bowl